Hello and welcome back to Aliena's Kitchen where today we are going to be making a lemon blueberry poppy seed loaf that is so delicious. It's great to have it with coffee or as dessert. Also, I just want to say I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there and getting to spend some quality time with your loved ones. So stay safe everybody. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to start with is my dry ingredients. So today I have one and two thirds cup of just all purpose flour. And to that I'm going to be adding in my poppy seeds. And I have two tablespoons of poppy seeds. Also, this is one thing, do not feed this to your animals because poppy seeds are quite poisonous to dogs and cats. So I learned that yesterday because I was about to give my dog some of it. I learned not to. Next, I'm going to be adding in my baking powder, and I have one teaspoon of baking powder and an eighth teaspoon of baking soda. Now I'm just gonna whisk this all together so everything is fully mixed and combined. And try not to make a mess. Voila. Next, I can move on to my mixer. And I'm going to be adding in my sugar. So I have one cup of sugar, as well as three tablespoons of fresh lemon zest. This really is the arm workout of the day for me, getting all this lemon zest. And now I'm just gonna mix this together so everything gets combined. So now I have my butter and I have half a cup or half a stick and it's nice and soft at room temperature. I actually popped it in the microwave for 10 seconds because it's pretty cold in my house. And now I'm just going to add this to my sugar mixture. And we're going to let this be until everything gets combined. While my mixer is on, I'm going to be adding in my eggs and today I have three eggs that I've let sit out so they're at room temperature. And also I'm going to be adding in my vanilla extract at this point. So I have half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I have a fourth cup of milk and today I'm using almond milk, but you can use whatever milk you want to use. And to that, I'm going to be adding in a fourth cup of sour cream. So now I'm just going to pop this in the microwave for about 10, 15 seconds to make sure that my sour cream is nice and smooth. And then I'm going to whisk this all together before I add it into my batter. And you want to add this kind of slowly, let it drizzle in. Now we can add in the rest of our ingredients. So we can add in our flour mixture as well as our lemon juice. So today I actually have four tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And it smells delicious. <laughs> so now I'm just going to add everything in. And I'm going to beat it at a slow speed because you don't want to over mix your batter. The last ingredient I'm going to be adding in is my blueberries. So you can either use fresh or frozen blueberries. I'm using frozen today, but it's really up to you. And I'm going to gently fold my blueberries in. Also, at this point, I have preheated my oven to 350 degrees, and I've also buttered my pan and laid down some parchment paper because the first time I did this recipe, a lot of it stuck to the bottom of my pan because I didn't use parchment paper. So I always recommend using parchment paper because it really helps with the sticking. Now the last thing I'm going to do, because I have some blueberries I set to the side, is I'm actually going to take my blueberries and press them in on the top of my loaf. So when you take it out, you have all these pretty blueberries on top. Here we have our beautiful finished loaf. I don't want to show you too much because it will start to slide on me. So now I'm just going to put this in my oven at 350 degrees for about 50 to 55 minutes. Yeah. 
Here we have our beautiful finished loaf and it smells absolutely amazing. So now I'm gonna flip it out and it'll be the moment of truth. It is optional if you want, you can make a glaze, but for me, I really like just having it how it is and maybe putting a little bit of butter on it with some tea and I love it. I think it's super tasty. And now the best part, getting to try it. Mm, I love how there's blueberries all throughout it. Mm. That was a big bite, that was so good. It's so moist and the flavor of the blueberries comes through beautifully. I love this cake. I think it's so, so delicious. And one of my favorite things is it's not too sweet. So you can have it in the morning as well as night. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you like it, share it with a friend. Thanks you guys and I'll see you later.